Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Uncle Jesse. Time to keep the Bowman train rolling. 2021 Bowman Baseball Hobby half case number two. All right, did the filler, and there it is. List on the screen with everyone that's in the filler. Let me get rid of this. And as always, good luck, everybody. Thank you, Isaac. All right, here we go. Eric interested in an Asa Lacy autograph. Let's see if we can hit that. How you doing today, Eric? In case anyone's wondering, all cards ship. That's why I'm showing all the cards. Got a Liberatory 29 card. Oops. Well, Eric, I don't like the sound of that. You should have. You should be saying great, amazing. So if, if you need me to smack somebody up, you you let me know, Eric. You know I got your back. Can someone tell Vincent in the chat to watch the live stream? I think he's behind. Someone tell Vincent to press the like button, please. Because I think he's behind. Got a Nick Lofton to 125 Royals. Thank you, Ray. Appreciate that. Max Scherzer, four ninety nine paper nationals. Miguel Amaya, speaking of my boy Ray for the Cubs. A little atomic action there for you. I appreciate that, Ray. I'm glad somebody does.
time hit. Looks nice. And Austin Martin. Chris Bowman Chrome. He's, he's been a tough hit so far tonight. I like those 91 bones, so nice. Now, where is the autograph? Nice one, Mick Abel. 11 to 25. First Bowman. Phillies. That is nice. That is super sweet. Nice one, Gasper. I remember, Gasper, I can't do this without you guys, so thank you. Let's see what else I can do. Those orange are hobby exclusive, according to the sell sheet. Yeah, some of the cuts on these cards are. Uh, a little rough. Nice, and Alec Baum to 75. Phillies rookie mojo. Phillies on fire right now. My God. A Seth Beer, 399 D-backs paper. Get your teams in the other Bowman breaks, y'all. Let's keep Bowman. Let's keep breaking Bowman. There we go. Austin Martin Chrome first Bowman. Supposed to be the biggest player in this set this year, but you never know how that goes.
you know, after you hit the autograph, so, so, it kind of takes the, the awesomeness out of the rest of the box. Well, hopefully we can hit like a sweet parallel or something. I've been saying that for a while. I've been due for a one-on-one -on -one card. Have not hit a one-on-one -on -one in a while. So I am about due. Uh, Alec Baum to 75 for the Phillies. And Mika Bell to 25 for the Phillies. Pretty good break for the Phillies so far. Here are the two autographs. Not, uh, not too bad. You got Blake Walston, 199 D-backs. Man, these cuts are killing me on some of these cards. Josiah Gray, Dodgers Atomic, all right, two boxes down, four to go, this is box number three, And I hope Harper, all right, if he really did take a pitch to the face. My boy Allen in a place to be. What's going on, player? I'm chilling, man, opening some baseball here. New product that came out today. We got a Jonathan India to 199 here for the Reds. The up and coming baseball players here. Everyone looking for the next big thing. Ooh, Alan, what's uh? I have yet to see that movie. But uh, what's your what's your, what's your rating on that? Out of ten. It's 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 a close one, J Mass. I don't know. I'm, I mean, 
I'm probably behind on the stream I got going. But it's got like a minute something left. Five point game. Make that a three point game. Just way too close for comfort. Nice ass of Lacey there, but it's not an autograph. A 10 out of 10? Wow, that's that's high praise. Jose Tena, first Bowman Atomic Indians. I was hoping they were going to show that movie like on Crunchyroll or something. I don't, I don't know if I want to go to a movie theater right now. Still waiting on the hit out of this box. Have you seen Mortal Kombat yet, Alan? There's the hit. Adael Amador, first Bowman for the Rockies. Stevie P with a hit right there. Oh, dang, Eric. What do you think about Mortal Kombat? I gave it a 7 out of 10. Parallel would be nice. Or to four ninety nine Jackson Rutledge Nationals. Yeah, Alan, I I, I, I said the same. I told Rashad the same thing on Facebook. I I, wrote, I wanna give it a six five, but it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a bad movie. Like, it's definitely watchable. If you had no knowledge on the Mortal Kombat universe, you, you could enjoy the movie. But from a nerd's perspective, could have been way better. Coach Pop got some long hair now. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have no doubt that you would, at the very least, you know, keep some some kind of integrity in there. I was watching. Uh, I was watching somebody review the movie. And they had said, uh, what did they say? They were like, oh, they, they had put too many characters in it. If they had just stuck with, like, the roster for Mortal Kombat 1, it would have been perfect. And I, I agree. There was no need to make up a whole brand new character. That Cole Young guy or whatever. That's a waste of a character, honestly. 
with all the characters of the Mortal Kombat universe? Like, do you really need to make one just for a movie? So stupid. Raiden's lair was whack as hell. You know, not 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 fitting for the Thunder God. Liu Kang and and uh, what's his name, his cousin. They they kind of just seem like whatever. Like they don't seem like they're badass. Like ugh. anyway, Tariq School Ball twenty five rookie Tigers. Enough about all that. Ed Howard Cubs Atomic. Very nice. I'm on box number four, Bowman Hobby. Let's see what we can hit. Some nice stuff has come out for the Phillies. Let's see if we can spread the love around here. Yeah, a lot of orange coming out of this half of the case. eBay 101. Hyun Lee, Hyun Choi. First Bowman Dodgers. That could be a big time card right there. Very nice. Did you ever see that Mortal Kombat animated movie they came out with, uh, Alan? It's on HBO Max. I think it was called Vengeance or something like that. Clinic 299 Mariners. Or Mortal Kombat Legacy, so something like that. It's an animated movie told from uh, Scorpion's perspective. I thought it was great. Like if that if that had been the live action movie, woo, it would have been better in my opinion. It looks like the Heat walk away with a close one. Five point win on the Spurs. Nice win for a struggling Heat team. Got like nine games left in the season. Daryl Collins, first Bowen autograph to four ninety nine for the Royals. There you go, Vincent. Very nice. It was worth waking up early today. I agree, Alan. I mean, dude, I, I thought there'd be way more Scorpion in the movie. There's probably like. 15 minutes tops of Scorpion in the movie. I don't know. I, I think I need to rewatch it. Bo Naylor, 150 Indians. Ooh, this one's thick. At least it feels thick. Whoa, what is that? What is that? I don't know what. Oh, I guess the cards are stuck together or something. I don't know. It felt a little thicker, though. Oh, yeah, they threw in some more. 
chrome cards in this pack. Interesting. So what's new with you, Alan? Or Rip City fam? Anybody else watching? How's everyone? It's 10.30 here on the East Coast. Let's get some more breaks filled. If we can fill that, that Bowman Jumbo number two, I'll give away $500 tonight. Very true, Eric. Very true. Like, I don't know how many of you guys have ever seen Scarface. I saw it when I was a kid. And I thought it was great. I saw it again not too long ago. In its entirety. Mind you, it's like a three-hour movie. It's not a good movie at all. Like, it's, it's actually kind of terrible. That's another thing, Chris. Like, how do you, how do you, like, where was the tournament? Like, people were just randomly just showing up and fighting. Like, what was that about? Like, oh, like how, how hard is it to stick to the story? Yeah, it's not like Mortal Kombat. It's like, you know, we're not talking about a Shakespeare story here. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I, did you watch the movie, Chris, on HBO Max or in the theaters? I mean, don't get me wrong. I thought it was okay. Like, just from a movie standpoint, it's it's definitely watchable, entertaining. It's not a bad movie. 7 out of 10. But, you know, the more and more I think about it and the more I talk about it, it's probably closer to like a 5-5 five, five out of 10. Oh, well, yeah, I, I saw it on uh, HBO Max. I got that, that free trial for the week, dog. I'm trying to watch as many movies from there as I can. Although I might not cancel it. They got some good stuff on there. They got some good shows that I haven't seen. Like Westworld, I hear is really good. Might have to check that out. I might rewatch The Wire. The Wire is amazing. Really good show. They, they got a few good movies on there too. I was surprised like the catalog they got. Just season one of Westworld is good. Ouch. How many seasons do they have? Like 50? Uh, well, there's a, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Lost. You ever watch Lost? Oh my god, what a waste of time that show was. You know, Christopher? I can't think of a better show, honestly. It's, it's a pretty damn good show. Forrest Whitley, Astros Atomic. It's probably the most realistic TV drama I've ever seen. Need a big hit. The autograph still hasn't come out of here. Where are you, Austin Martin? Who is supposedly the biggest prospect. Have yet to see him as an autograph or a parallel even. 
We got Francisco Alvarez to 150. Atomic. Well, TCU, uh, I've officially finished my first case of hobby. I opened up another half a jumbo. So, so far I've opened a case and a half of Bowman. I've done one hobby case and half a jumbo case. Oh, for sure, Chris. For sure. I like how you get you just the different perspectives they give you in that show. And just the, the way they the way they the way they wrote those characters is just man. Like like you like you feel like you feel like you know those people after a while. I don't know, it's a great show. Justin in the house, what's going on? Player. You think uh Mr. Austin is a redemption? His autograph? I think somebody told me earlier they saw an autograph of his, but I'm not sure if it was a redemption or not. Nice. A Gavin Lux, 44 of 50, Dodgers autograph. Stevie P, that's decent. The number two prospect, according to the Bowman Scouts top 100. Oh, man. Now, nah, Bodie had to go. Bodie had to go. Yeah, that, that one hurt, man. He, he was just. He was just born into the game, man. You know what I mean? Like there was nothing you could do. Like his own mom didn't like didn't look out for him at the end. That that was sad, bro. That was sad. But he had to go, man. What's his name was cold blooded, and I'm glad they marked him the way they did. Um. Something with an S. Skinner, Strikers. I forget his name. Idris Elvis's character. That fake gangster dude. What's a striker? Something like that. I can't remember the name. It's something with an S, though. Stinger. That's right. Stringer. Stringer Bell. There it is. Yeah, that dude's care. That, that was a that dude's crazy character. Smart as hell, but got into the wrong game. All right. Speaking of games. One last box to go, baby. Omar was probably the best character in this show. Omar and Michael. All right. Last pack. I'm sorry, last box. Let's make it hot.
Phillies, as of right now, kill this break. Got Garrett Mitchell, 10 of 50 for the Brewers. That's nice looking. Oh, Slim Charles was the man, too. I can forget it. How could I forget about that, dude? That's Sabato, my boy Sabato Hunting with the Twins. He's arguably the number two person everyone's looking for. Anthony Rizzo struck somebody out just now? What? I got an update on my phone saying Anthony Rizzo struck somebody out. Since when is that guy a pitcher? Ooh, that could be huge. Yoelki Cespedes. First Bowman White Sox. Very nice, Greg. Very nice. Yeah, there's still parallels we can hit here. So let's hit a one on one. There's been some decent color so far. Let's get some more. Nice trout. That's it. That's the autograph trout has in this stuff. The 91 Bowman Auto. Christopher Morel to 150 Cubs first Bowman. Paper. A little something from my man Ray. Thank you, TCU. Josh Jung to 99 Rangers. There you go, Gary. Nice. Oh, man. There's a few autographs in this. I'll give you the recap in a bit. I'm almost done here. Some good autos came out of this half. The case, the case in general was actually really good. Luciano, Giants Atomic. Two packs left. Come on, 101. Come on to play. All right. 
flashback mojo it looks like that's gonna be it for the break all right so let's recap here these are all our parallels aka the colorful stuff lots of nice color Alright, but this, this is what the people care about. The numbered stuff. Alright, so we have Adele Amador, Rocky's first Bowman autograph, and Yoelki Cespedes, White Sox's first Bowman autograph. That's a good one. We also got Daryl Collins, 499 Royals. Alec Baum to 75. Phillies rookie auto. Gavin Lux to 50 Dodgers. And Mika Bell, 11 to 25. Phillies. Phillies crushed it. And that's the break. Thank you, everyone. I'll get it out to you.